Okay, here we are in the finals. We have the choice. We will play first. And, uh, yeah, we can keep this. Fix for all our colors. Um, can at least eventually play a spell. I mean, we at least have a burn spell with the mana for it in hand, so. Uh, we're playing a white-blue spirit deck. Uh, very good one too. He had like Ludovic's test subject and it's a chapel geist, tower geist, pretty much every geist you can think of. Ashmouth Hound's pretty good against Doom Traveler. Ashmouth Hound's really good with Fires of Undeath. Let's just swing in now. Okay, he's taking two, that's good. And land, and we'll pass turn. Still no blocks, huh? No land draw either. It's pretty good for us, I would say. Wow, I forgot about Geist Catcher's Rig. That's going to be real good in this match. So let's see if he's got a trick of some sort. Like a moment of heroism. No, he does not. Um, nothing going on on our side. we got a just a ton of six drops in our hand. All of our six drops, to be exact. See if he runs out Mr. Chapelgeist. Libelous of the Mist. Alright. Yeah, I was kind of curious he didn't attack the previous turn when he didn't block again. So that's kind of strange. Alright, land is. Believe it or not, actually good. Since we just have a, a mitt full of six drops. And we're doing quite a bit of damage to him as it is, so... Things are going okay. Um... I don't even think there's a real clear reason to use the Fires of Undeath, since I'm one mana away from both Geist Catcher's Rig and... Um... Oh, I see. Okay, Mausoleum Guard now. Hmm. Let's see. Land draw or anything besides the 6 drop? Okay. I think we just drop the Hermit and pass turn. Actually, let's just play around a trick now, so let's get rid of this guy. I know I could have killed it with Geist Catcher's Rig, but this, like, slows down his assault, because he's definitely going to swing with Mausoleum Guard. I would. Oh, I guess he could leave it back as a defender. In which case, I really hope I get a fling. Or even a Scourge Deck Cultist, and then this Traitor's Blood is going to be Money Central. Inquisitor. Alright. So three... Wow, look at his... <laughs> he's just got THE army of token producers. That's funny. Yeah, he's just going to chill now. So, land, please. Thank you. Flare comes down. Nightbird's clutches would be pretty spectacular right about now, especially with Traitor's Blood. Just the Inquisitor, I think that's fine. I'm going to trade a Hermit for it. I don't see him doing much else. So he is gaining life and he's getting a Spirit, which sucks for me, but I don't have to deal with the Life Link anymore.
see see kite. Okay. Can do anything about that mausoleum guard. No, I cannot. But we're gonna drop the big boy and kill a sea kite. I think that's in order. So that's pretty good. Just anxious to draw like a nightbird's clutches so I can just end this game. Forge Devil can take care of this spirit. I think at this point I can pretty safely attack. Well, not, we'll see what he's got. Spectre Rider. Um, maybe at this point I think I Blood Feud. Okay. So I Blood Feud, Mausoleum Guard, Spectral Rider. So they fight. Both die. He gets two spirits. I play Forge Devil. I kill spirit, I guess. Take a damage, get in with everything. And that's pretty aggressive still. I mean, he's definitely blocking with Doom Traveler, but beyond that. Okay, I see. Uh, I mean, I could nuke a spirit, but... Oh, he's got a trick. Oh, I see. That's a pretty good trick. So, they die. He gets one more thing. I get this dude back, and Lava Axe, I think. I, I can't kill... I can't do five damage or a spirit. I think I've got to go with the five damage. So, I still have Fires of Undeath in my graveyard, too, which I probably have been ignoring for too long. And maybe that was a preemptive use of Blood Feud, but oh well. So has he got a second rebuke? In which case, getting in for six would be huge right now. I think I am gonna fire Zone at this. If he had, well, maybe I'm supposed to progress the board instead. Is he just doing this as a chumper? I mean, uh, I want to progress the board before I bust fires, but this is a pretty good opportunity. Could also be a finisher. Let's just swing in. Chance he's just using it as a chump blocker. Got to have another rebuke. Yep. Okay, so we play Riot Devils. And pass the turn. So hopefully he just plays a monster. He plays like the biggest creature in the game. And then I steal it. So, double rebuke. Pretty good. What's he got? Tower Geist. Unfortunately, not the biggest creature in the game. But, definitely a Fires of Un... Well, I guess I don't have to, do I? I can just swing in. I'll swing in. No reason to bust the um, removal until I need it. So I think I'd actually prefer to use the dead weight. Reason being, um, Fires of Undeath can actually be used to kill him later. So he's got a mitt full of cards. Hopefully this is something I can steal and then proceed to kill him with.
All right. So we traders blood this. Get him for five. And then we've got him at fires of undeath range. So he's forced to gain life on this turn or he's dead. Or I guess he can just counterspell my thing. He's only seen one island in this game, which is a little bit surprising. Let's see if he's got some life gain. Huh. All right. Well, we got game one. That's cool. So he's got guy of the town. So this guy's got some goodies. All right. So good stuff in his deck. That was pretty crazy, that point where he had Mausoleum Guard, Doom Traveler, and Elgod Inquisitor out. That's pretty sick. So do I have anything that's better against him? Uh, Nightbird's Clutches, in this case, I think is actually better than Alter's Reap, because he's just got a ton of blockers. Um, I think Curse of Death Soul is just straight up the, the... I mean, if we resolve this, we should just beat him. I don't know how he beats this. He's got so many 1-1s in his deck, so many tokens.